KETK's Kara Rucker takes us behind the scenes to show us what happened in court today. That's right, Casey. It's something the family of Kayla Gomez and this community have been waiting on for almost three years now. Some closure. But the question is whether with that closure, the family felt they received some justice too. It was this time three years ago, Kayla Gomez was starting school just like other children. Today, she would be a teenager, a girl starting junior high and embracing the world with that smile. But now, only in pictures and in the hearts of loved ones will Kayla Gomez live on. Her life cut short by the hands of Gustavo Zavala Garcia. All of us have felt the burn of righteous anger against the monster who took this innocent child's life. On Thursday, the family appeared in court as they always have, but this time was different as it all came to a controversial close. The family's upset, as are we. This was not the result that we wanted. We don't think it's justice. It's not what he deserved. Zavala Garcia pleaded guilty to murder only after the death penalty was dropped. Yes, sir. Today, uh, we are withdrawing our election to seek the death penalty, and we have an agreement uh, and plea paper signed for a sentence of life without parole upon the defendant plea deal. This has been the opposite of what Putman and the previous district attorney have promised. Putman expressed his frustration at the legal system after the deal was approved by the judge. Mr. Garcia Zavala deserves to die for what he did, and there will never be any question in my mind that he deserves the death penalty. I still firmly believe the death penalty is the only proper punishment for Mr. Garcia Zavala, but the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled otherwise. Putman is referring to a recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling saying a state cannot sentence a man to death if they have what's called intellectual disabilities. Even if a capital murder defendant is a highly functioning individual with an intellectual disability, the Supreme Court says the state may not execute the defendant. Zavala tested low in math and reading, which put him in this category ineligible for execution, but still far away from causing any more horror stories like this family experienced. They experienced fear for when Kayla went missing, hope that she might be found, anguish when she was discovered dead, and outrage when the perpetrator was one of their own family. As the events have been reported, our community has grieved with them. And that's a very true last statement. We have grieved both for them and with them. I'm reporting in studio, Kara Rucker, KETK News.